Hi Year 11, in this video I'm going to be taking you through part 2 of your Term 3 milestone task which is the dairy farm management part of your task. You'll find the start of this on page 4 of your milestone task and I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like. So this is page 4, um, there's a few questions in part 2. Uh, but I'm going to take you through those parts one at a time. So the first part we're going to focus on is this one about feedback and data for record keeping. Uh, so what you need to do is choose one piece of data or feedback from this list here and write why that is important for the production system. So only choose one of these things that you are interested in to answer this question. So again, it starts on page four of your milestone task. Here is the link to the YouTube channel, which will take you to some helpful videos that might give you some idea of how to answer these questions. Um, I'll just click on the link and I'll show you again what that YouTube channel looks like. So here under agriculture milestone resource videos, you have a whole bunch of really helpful videos that you can watch to help with your understanding. Google is also your friend. If you are unsure, please make sure you're using Google to, to help you answer some of these questions. But I have provided this playlist for you just to help you guys out a little bit if you would like something to watch. So this video here about milk prices, the behind the news one, could be really helpful for you guys to answer this question. So in order for you to answer this question, I'm just going to go through a few details just to make it a bit clearer in your mind as to what the expectation is to answer this question. So what is feedback? So the question starts by stating that when running a dairy farm, record keeping and data collection help run the business efficiency efficiently. Collecting feedback and keeping records helps farmers maximise their production and their profits because ultimately that's what we want. As farmers, we want to be producing quality and a large quantity of products to produce to consumers. That's what farmers ultimately are there to do. Produce lots of food that's really good quality. So how does feedback fit into that? In agriculture, feedback is information received about a process or a product that can be used to make improvements or to increase profits, or both. For example, by reading the newspaper to find out what wool prices are, or how much we're getting for wool every week, farmers can make a decision about when to sell their fleece to make the most profit. So if wool prices are quite low in any particular week, farmers might decide not to sell that particular week because they know maybe in three, four, five, six weeks time, wool prices might be a bit higher and they can get better money for their wool. So getting that feedback from the wool market is really important to help that farmer decide how he can maximise his profits. And we can do the same sort of thing in the dairy industry. We can use feedback to help improve our efficiency and make the most profit from the industry. So in this part of the task, you are required to choose one source of data or feedback and explain why it is important for the farmer to be aware about that feedback. So whatever you choose, there has to be a reason why that data or feedback or how that data and feedback can inform the farmer on how he can improve a process or improve a product to increase profits. Ultimate goal, produce things for consumers and make a profit on it. So the next question in part two, you can find on page five of your milestone task. And it looks like this, and this one's all about sustainability. So answer the following questions about sustainable farming. From the list, choose one way that dairy farmers could run their business more environmentally sustainably and explain how it is more sustainable. So you need to choose one of these things from this list, only one, and explain how that process 
is more sustainable. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit now about what we mean by sustainability. There are a lot of really great videos on my YouTube channel for this particular one. Um, there's a lot that relate to water and effluent management, and there's a few that relate to the solar, um, using solar on the farm as well. So I'll just go ahead and click on this and show you guys some of those videos. So we've got sustainable land management at Moxie Farms, improved effluent management on dairy farms, why is water use efficiency important, water conservation and effluent management, off-grid solar and wind-powered dairy farm, what is sustainable agriculture, minimum tillage, methane reducing seaweed, which is a really interesting one, um, and sustainability Victoria has produced this one called Dairy Australia. So a bunch of really good resources there if you would like something to help you out answering this question. And again, Google is your friend. Google, ask the internet questions, and if you're still struggling, come and talk to us, your teachers, and we will help you work through the questions. So a little bit of um, background about this. Oh, this is the same slide as the last one. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, page five of your milestone task. What is sustainable agriculture? Sustainable agriculture is maintaining a balance between farming practices and keeping the farm and natural environment really, really healthy. This is super important because agriculture is not possible without a healthy environment. Now more than ever, it is important that we protect our environment. Farmers can do a number of things to help reduce the impact of farming on the environment by using sustainable farming practices. Because again, without a healthy environment, land becomes unproductive and farmers can't grow as much food or make as much profit. So we're not producing enough food to feed our growing population and farmers can't make ends meet either. So it's a whole vicious cycle. If we don't keep the environment healthy, we're not going to have farms and we're not going to be able to produce food, which is terrifying. So in this part of the task, you are required to choose one sustainable farming practice and explain how it is more sustainable than other farming practices currently being used. And I did just show you that list, so you, you should be able to work your way through that one on page five of your milestone task and use those YouTube clips to help you with um, some concepts if, if you would like to. The next part can be found on page six to eight of your milestone task and that looks a bit like this. So this part is all about calves and calf rearing. So there's a number of questions related to rearing happy healthy dairy calves before we get down to part three. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through how to do this section really really well again there's a youtube clip on my channel that will be really really useful to help you guys in answering some of these questions so it starts out by stating dairy farmers remove the calves within 24 hours of birth this gives the calves the chance to have colostrum from mum before being hand raised there is a great video on this YouTube playlist that gives you some information about colostrum. It's this one right here, benefits of colostrum for calves. So if you can't remember what colostrum is or the benefit of colostrum to the calves, Google is your friend. And there's also this great YouTube video here sitting in your agriculture milestone resource videos ready to help you guys out. In this part of your task, you are required to think back to rearing your calves at school. You are also required to interpret some information about feeding the dairy calves. If you're having trouble remembering some of the things we did with our dairy calves, then get in touch, put some comments on Facebook or on the YouTube, talk with your friends um, and try and think back and remember some of those things that you guys went through with your dairy calves. 
And that's the end of part two, guys. It's really straightforward. If you are struggling with anything, please put some comments in the comments boxes on Facebook and even on the YouTube channel. Um, come along and take part in the live videos so that I can answer your questions in real time. But any questions that you ask are probably questions other people are thinking as well. So you'll have the opportunity to help out some other people by asking some questions and also learn yourself from questions that other people are asking. So those live sessions will be really fun and really insightful and will help you get this task done really well. So I hope that this video was informative and it's given you some direction to go with part two of your dairy farm case study milestone task. Um, I hope you're having a great day, guys, and I will see you on the other side.